this team, they just kicked my team's ass. So I, I've got nothing I can say by any means. But this Dallas team, a fun to watch. Got to be honest. That was deadly last night. TNT with the call. We welcome you in five bets in five minutes. We have to talk about another team that played last night following that early TNT game because they're going to make it. But you know the drill here, right? We head on over to DraftKings, give you five NBA bets in five minutes. We start the clock. Only after, of course, you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, all that good stuff here on the Odd Shopper channel. I, I couldn't help myself. My goodness. I mean, yeah, it came at the expense of my Sixers, but this new look Dallas team, it's, it's a lot of fun to sit back and watch them play. That's, that's all I'm saying, all right? Let us begin, shall we, with our clock. Now, plays under 241 and a half, Hawks, Blazers. By the way, we went three and two last night, which brings our week total up to 13, six and one. So we're, we're doing pretty well. So far as we head into Friday night, Hawks under 241 and a half in this game, Blazers and Hawks, both two of the most elite scorers in the game right now. And Damian Lillard and Trey Young and the Hawks have a new coach. And look, I think both of these teams are in such a tight spot for the playoffs that you're starting to see as things wind down and it's going to be the opposite for another team. We'll talk about these two though, a lot more deliberate in possession, a lot more deliberate in approach, not just wheeling and dealing up and down the floor as fast as humanly possible to get there. Anthony Simons was back and then he's hurt again. Can't trust that he'll be on the floor tonight. Same thing with a Hawks standpoint is just far as watching Trey Young take over versus being able to score 110 on a soft night for him. I don't see it. We move on. Next play, Nets plus 11. What happened to Brooklyn? The opportunity to take over. Their reign at the top was shorter than either Frank White or I don't even know. Can you say, can you quote Biggie and say shorter than Leprechauns now or are people going to get upset at me? I'm quoting a line from a guy who's used in commercials and honored. So I should be able to quote Smalls, right? That's all I'm saying. If, if he's going to be in a beer commercial, then shouldn't I be able to quote his lyrics? That's all I'm saying. But whatever the rain is, it's over. It's done for Brooklyn. But here's the problem if you're Boston. You don't need to exert much energy. If you're Brooklyn, you have to be all hands on deck for this basketball game. There's no other choice. You have to treat the remaining schedule basically like the playoffs, which is grueling and exhausting and just not possible to do. But the Celtics didn't uh, take a second, take a night off, and still win this game. I don't want to say comfortably. That's why 11 is a little more appealing. The Knicks are not what the Knicks were. They're not what Tom Thibodeau was in multiple other spots, including New York before this year. The Knicks are one of the most efficient and best scoring teams in the NBA right now. And they're going to force, watch this move. It just did 216. Unbelievable. Building this at 215 and a half, thinking, okay, let's see how this thing works. 216 right now. The Knicks score points. The Miami Heat have a couple of volume scores. They have an area, I think, with Bam up front that they can target and attack. But the reality is that they're going to have to keep up. And they may uncomfortably have to take a couple more threes just to keep up with the New York Knicks. Jalen Brunson alone is, is causing so much disruption on the other end for teams because they have to deal now with R.J. Barrett and Julius Randle off ball a little more with Brunson. And that's tough. I think both of these teams, Miami just has to catch up. They have no choice in this matter but to catch up. All right, we have the Warriors here, minus four. And last night, I, I mean, last night was something special, right? Can I get, can I just get a little bit? Can I get a little of the Warriors? Wow. TNT again. That's what we're doing here. We're rolling with the Golden State Warriors minus four. This team is no joke right now. And they're taking on a Pelican squad that's like perfect. If you're dealing with a win streak, I know that New Orleans comes off one win. But if you're dealing with a win streak right now, you want to keep this thing moving four straight back. Second leg of the back to back. No step. No wing. None of that. 
This is a great chance for you to keep momentum going, going up against a flailing squad like the Pelicans. Last play. This moved. Unfortunately, it was plus one when we built it. Now it's minus one. I was going to take the money line, but I'll just take the Lakers minus one. Clearly, LeBron James being gone has not derailed this team. Anthony Davis healthy is a menace. We have to worry about his foot. But again, he's probable tonight. Schroeder probable tonight. That's why the line is moving. So I'll jump in right now, Lakers minus one. That's the best play you can go here with this game because there is nothing that Rudy Gobert, healthy or not, that Minnesota – I mean, you'd need all hands on deck up front, which you don't have, to slow down Anthony Davis at this point. And other injuries aside, D'Angelo Russell, right? You're getting a little boost here with Schroeder. So I, I think that this team is playing well enough to offset – what's going on with Minnesota, which is just disappointment. I mean, let's be honest here. They, they get a game, but they're just, just, just disappointment. That's all. There's your five bets in five minutes. By the way, uh, five plays, one total, two totals. All nicely wrapped up in a parlay sandwich, burrito, wrap, whatever you like to call it. It's up to you. Whatever your mode of operation of eating is, there's your five and five. You want to turn $5 into $150, Bet Chattanooga tonight. But here's the catch. It's not even a catch. It's just what you need to do. There's a link below. You're going to sign up. It's going to take you 90 seconds. Put your information in. Deposit $5. You have to be 21 or older. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Of course, you have to live in a state where you can legally place a wager. That's easy stuff. But maybe your mom, maybe your dad, maybe your grandmother, maybe your older brother, sister, maybe somebody in your house who's above 21 has yet to sign up on DraftKings. Hey, Ma! I got a link for you for DraftKings. You got to sign up. It's going to cost you five bucks. You want to link your PayPal or your bank? That's it. It's all. It's easy. And that $5 turns into $150. Simple and easy. That's all you need to do. All right? Now, with that said, I think the other part of this here, this is just a quick reminder. There's the Odd Shopper Premium Tool, the Bet Pro Tool. How about we give you a week for the Bet Pro Tool? A week. That's it. One full week. It's free. Does it work? Yes. Here it is. Here it is working right now. It's free. How about that? That's all. Just just, just letting this hang. All right? Just letting that sucker hang right there. Speaking of hang, because you've already signed up for a free week of the Bet Pro tool, and you see evidence here from Elvis that this thing is working, Come hang with Lindy and myself, 4 o'clock Eastern today. We're every day, Monday through Friday, 4 o'clock Eastern. Today, it's Linguist to myself. We'll see.